the Northern Ireland Protocol must go. It hasn't even been in place for two months and already we are seeing that it cannot go on. This video outlines five fundamental problems with the protocol and why a new solution should be negotiated immediately. The first problem with the protocol is that it creates a customs border between Northern Ireland and Great Britain, separating Northern Ireland from its largest economic market. Businesses moving goods from Great Britain into Northern Ireland have to go through customs checks. That means businesses which sell animal-based products like meat, eggs or cheese, or those that sell plant-based goods such as fruit or vegetables have to comply with EU regulations. To prove they're compliant, they must undergo customs checks, complete paperwork and provide health certificates. This has led to a disruption of trade in Northern Ireland, causing delays of stock and decrease in product availability. Some businesses have now reoriented themselves towards Dublin or have decided to stop selling to Northern Ireland altogether. And if you think this situation is going to get better, think again. The European Union have dismissed these difficulties, describing them as mere teething problems. But when you consider we are still in a transition phase, or what we're calling a grace period, and that the UK will inevitably diverge from the EU regulations, thus hardening the border even further, these problems will only get worse, not better. The protocol must go. The second problem with the protocol is that it damages the constitutional position of Northern Ireland. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland was formed in the Act of Union 1800. It was, among other things, an economic union which legislated free trade between Great Britain and Ireland, which since then has become Northern Ireland. Rather than maintaining free movement of trade between countries, the Northern Ireland Protocol creates customs barriers between Northern Ireland and Great Britain. Article 6 of the Act of Union states that there should be the same charges on produce from either country exported through to the other. Therefore, customs checks, extra paperwork and new certifications, all of which come with costs attached, violates the Act of Union, therefore infringing upon Northern Ireland's constitutional status. The protocol must go. The third problem with the protocol is that it compromises the sovereignty of the United Kingdom. In the Brexit referendum, the majority of the United Kingdom voted to take back control. While Great Britain has left the European Union, Northern Ireland remains as a semi-colony under the control of European bureaucrats and whatever laws they make. The protocol enforces Northern Ireland to maintain alignment with the European single market for goods, to follow the European customs code, to apply the European VAT regime, to adhere to European laws we can neither make or change and of course we remain subject to the European Court of Justice. The protocol is a grievous attack on the sovereignty of the United Kingdom, which not only fails to take back control, but instead gives control of Northern Ireland to a foreign power. The protocol must go. The fourth problem with the protocol then, is that it drives a horse and cart right through the Belfast Agreement. Even though the agreement does not mention anything to prevent the customs border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, where it should naturally be, it was repeatedly said that such an arrangement goes against the Good Friday Agreement. Ironically, it is actually the protocol which rips up the Good Friday Agreement, and remarkably, the very same people that claim to defend the Belfast Agreement now demand the rigorous implementation of the protocol. What the Good Friday Agreement does say is that Northern Ireland in its entirety remains part of the United Kingdom. Given that the protocol creates a customs border between Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and Northern Ireland remains under the powers of a foreign market and court, this fundamental principle of the Good Friday Agreement has been breached. Also, Article 18 of the Protocol provides the Northern Ireland Assembly with a vote on the Protocol in 2024. However, this vote is in a manner that is inconsistent with the Belfast Agreement. Strand 1.5D of the Belfast Agreement states that all key decisions should be held on a cross-community basis. This means votes passed by the Northern Ireland Assembly must have a significant number of Unionists and Nationalists supporting them. 
The protocol, however, neglects this principle and only requires a simple majority for it to continue beyond the four years. The protocol must go. Fifth and finally, the Northern Ireland Protocol is a concession to the threat of Republican violence. The very thought of placing a customs border where it should naturally be, between Northern Ireland and Republic of Ireland, led to the European Union, the Irish government, anti-Brexiteers and Northern Ireland nationalists falsely claiming that it was against the Good Friday Agreement and that it could destabilise peace. The concerns about uh, the re-emergence of a hard border uh, and the possibility of a return to violence um, are very real. The situation in uh, Ireland has improved. We should not play with this. Yeah, as you say, the history of that border, we all know the history of the border. Yeah. No, I, sometimes I have the impression that uh, some people are forgetting about the history. Like but who? the history will be back immediately. This political choir hyped up the threat of Republican violence and used it to dissuade the UK from putting a customs border where it should rightfully be. To concede to this political tactic is not only anti-democratic, but sets a dangerous precedent in Northern Ireland where violence or at least a threat of it, is perceived to be a beneficial strategy for political gain. The Northern Ireland Protocol must go. Well, there it is, five fundamental problems with the Northern Ireland Protocol. We need a new solution and we need it negotiated immediately. The Northern Ireland Protocol must go. Please like and subscribe for more videos on similar topics.